I love Plank because then you can scale your elemental damage. And then you can eventually find a nuclear launcher. We pretend it's 2009 and we go planking again. You know, one of the early memes. At least Grandpa here remembers. Back in my day, we did planking and T-posing. Everyone was friends with Tom on MySpace. And YouTube didn't even exist. Ah. You scale, um... Obviously harvesting. Uh, you scale elemental damage. Coffee shop. Plank. I'm gonna reroll. You know what? Fertilizer. I almost never take baby gecko unless I feel really far ahead because it doesn't do anything. Or I'm playing lucky. It does something unlucky because you want to collect stuff, collect materials. So baby gecko unlucky is incredible. But we're swinging. And this one is not a time to sack range or speed. Speed and range are going to be your first de layer of defenses. Second layer being that armor. First layer defense, don't get hit. As much as a meme as it is, it's... Oh, I should have rolled for weapons. Oh well, probably fine. And I'll take items like boiling water and all of the elemental damage. Fuel tank, I believe, is one. Fuel tank's kind of bad, though, because... Um, it's fine, but it does uh, cut into your other stats, so it's kind of a wash on stats. It's not just, hey, here's... The other one that would be good is Bracelet. Eh, it's not even that good because of explosions. Because you're hitting with the plank and you're also exploding is the thing. You also want HP regen over other things. I'm gonna take the elemental. Why aren't I have to do elemental damage? Please, game. And it's more harvesting. Blank is incredible. Oh, I probably should have taken that armor because minus. I'm gonna skip ugly tooth. Gregory, is it time for front seat Friday? It's already Twitch chat Tuesday, so you could request for it to be front seat Friday. And come just deliver the pain, the exquisite pain. Exquisite pain. We want more weapons. We're on the weapon train here. Yeah. We will disagree so hard. It will be incredible. Right now we're doing Artificer for my boy Micro. Uh, he was having trouble with Gladiator, so I just told him my Gladiator start. You start Thief Dagger, and you take the five precise weapons, and then you take whatever precise weapon you want after that. It turned out it, Ghost Flint is pretty good, because it's more scaling. Ended up with 50 extra damage on that shit. You can just man up next run. Sure, sure. You choose You choose the potato, you choose the weapon, and I'll, I'll just be in pain the whole time. Uh, give me a sec, though. We'll run this one down. I'm gonna take hit points. It feels just low. Uh, life steals nothing because we're doing explosions. We're planking. Now I'm full on planks. These are all scaling items. <laughs> you should not be. Uh, here's the thing. You can start renegade. You start. Uh, you play renegade. You start and you uh, take the crossbow, which is a precise weapon. And then you find Thief Staggers. <laughs> Eric, Renegade loves projectiles and stuff. I know, but Thief Staggers. Uh, I did just play Fisherman by No Baits. It died out about rave, wave 14. But what you can do is you start... <laughs> again, you start Crossbow on Fisherman. And uh, you just take uh, Thief Staggers. Because like, oh no, I'm getting less money. But then you get money and you can do that run probably. So that's gonna be my next take on it. Wow, we have three armor, Jesus. Uh, I'm gonna help I'll take the defective steroids. Kinda wanna roll. Kinda wanna see, hey, speaking of. No, you cannot take Thief Staggers on this character and it makes me very sad. Just so sad. 
Scissors also no. But yeah, you get scissors, which is healing. So the for gladiator, the weapons you get scissors is healing. Uh, the thief's dagger is money. Uh, the we got ended up with a red knife, which turns out when it's I've never really used the knife except for on gladiator. It does a four x crit. That thing's probably real good. I'm too addicted to the thief's dagger. I love money. I also want to scale my explosion size to just the moon. There is a tree in the corner, but I feel as if I will get cornered if I go for it. Also, there's all these aliens to murder here. Yeah, it, it's always the stagger. I would like more speed. We're walking around real slow. All right, the game is over. I found a nuclear launcher. <laughs> the game is literally over. Oh. Micro, is it okay if I take the, the launcher or should I play like a regular game and find a nuclear launcher like way later in the game? Because this is the thing you're looking for. It is a, and it's a heavy explosive one. It's not even, oh, it is explosive. So it shares a tag with Plank. Um, I'll take it and go win the game with it, or I will try to win the game still without taking it, which is fine too. Either way, you let me know. I also think I'm going to grab the alien tongue. God, do I love pickup range. Sometimes the the materials fall away from you, and sometimes the uh, like you just can't get to it. All right, haven't heard from Micro. Hard mode, please. You got it. I'll double hard mode it. I'll lock it so it makes my next shop garbage because it's 25% worse, and then I'll unlock it. You got it, my man. We're showing off good movement. We're showing off that you can just play plank and and kill the Easter bunny. Ooh, that was a close one. Now he's got a friend. Like Bob Ross says, everyone needs a friend. Oh, made it to that one. Because once you start scaling the size of the explosions, like, it gets real good. It gets so juicy. Again, you have to play melee. You have to be comfortable playing melee. That's like part of the problem. Ooh. But also, wait, this is the level 10 level up and these are all purple? A little ten purple sure is elemental damage let's go unlock get out of here nobody wants to see you get that trash out of here uh, explosion damage sure i don't have any crit but tentacle oh i also have n oh explosion size i'm gonna take this this is like a regular thing to find uh because i have like 10 luck and that's not so so shabby Oh, duck is elemental and not the other one. There's a... Oh, it's the propeller. The, like, beamy propeller. Uh, the recovery is eat off the floor and regen. Uh, I would never roll for healing turrets because we don't have any engineering. But also, you do slap them, so it still is... Um, a little bit of lifesteal will get you there. Because they do slap and then they explode. So you, so you shouldn't rely on it though. The biggest thing is movement speed. That's your recovery. Don't get hit. That's what I'm showing off here. Just, oh, oh God. Running like a coward because we still need to scale. But shark mode, always forward. Shark mode, shark, 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 shark. Like, <clears throat> sometimes you dive into the middle there and that's what that extra pickup range is doing for me. It's allowing me to pick up stuff and I'm ducking in just slightly huh. um you want the nine percent speed we're not a crit build so not a hunting trophy that's really sad we're seeing an awful lot of good weapons and stuff for having not that much luck i do need more health uh we'll take little muscly do because it does scale my damage too all right and it's hit points the sadness is that it's Losing at the expense of range. In the corner tree, really? I'm busy fighting for my life out here. 
being run down once I have invaded the alien's homeworld. I think that's the lore. You have crash landed. I prefer to think that this is the potato homeworld, because, like, how else do you have a store? Like, like if they called it the workshop because you have materials. But yeah, eating off the floor is, like, the primary mode right now of, uh, oops, I did not shark mode that, but, uh, also that extra pickup range is picking up, um, some more alien pickles for us. I think there's a boot goblin right here. What's up, bud? Oh, yeah. A little bit of extra pickup range, it, it, like, it works miracles. We'll take banner, because range good, armor good. I gave up a plate earlier for that. Uh, I don't really want any of this. Thanks for taunting me, but also thanks for the con consolidation prize of uh, health. I'm going to take 30 range. Eight baits, one stick. How do you like my chances? Super dead. If you want, you cannot take, uh, well, I can't because I'm not skilled enough. But the most I could do is four sticks, five baits, or three sticks and another weapon and four baits. And also three sticks can do four baits. Um, consistently, no. But if you're trying for like a long-term thing where you're like, oh yeah, I just want to get a win and you're like grinding it out. That's like, that's what I would do. Uh, elemental damage. I have no dodge. Fuel tank. I'm going to take it because I want explosion size. I'm also going to take weird food because we're eating. Our primary mode of healing is off the ground. And we just ruined that by taking some HP. Seven baits, three sticks. That is impressive. Damn. Like round one. You get used to it too. And then you go back to other things. Like that's like one way to enter the, the you know, Dragon Ball Z training chamber. Like if you want to enter the chamber like that and you come back out and you play anything else and you're like, there's just like no mobs on the screen. It's much easier to track what's happening on the screen. It's like go into the, go into the chamber. Are you coming for my 160, Greg? Because please do. I wanna, I want someone to come for my 160 baits on 1.0 bro, potato. Everyone else out there is like, oh, I got a lot of baits. I got 120. I got 100, like 13. It's like 160, my man. Like, good job on your 120. Like that is a, a nice start. Eating off the floor, running through the middle. You would think. That would set me up for success, but then I died the next round with five more baits and five, six. Oh my god, really? The thing I do, okay, here's the thing to do. On your level up, you take movement speed or attack speed. So that's probably what fucked you, because you want like movement speed to either move or you want attack speed so you're slapping them. Give them the slaps. Uh, I think I want armor, because then I was going to take... Uh... This is all garbage. I have 16 speed, and the rest of this is trash. Hit points? No, attack speed. Double my attack speed. I'm negative on dodge, so probably not. Peacock. Also probably not. Okay. Throw away money on Vigilante Ring because I forgot that I have minus 100% damage. Whoops. You know, I'm just going hard mode for micro. Micro asks for hard mode, so you throw things away. Sometimes you see a piece of jewelry. It's pretty. You want to have that bling. Like, you got to have it. Like, Artificer, he still loves his accessories, okay? Like, you didn't get this explosive without having good drip, like, and swag. That's just how he does. Also, the extra 15% attack speed feels insane. It's really nice. But yeah, you have to take like attack speed if you're taking that many baits uh, on the level up between levels, right? Uh, movement speed also good because you're taking one damage from every single time they're at you. Uh, and then collecting up all the sticks gives you another 15 hit points uh, when you're at max sticks. This is why you also scale explosion size, because everything dies. I'm definitely taking the campfire. And elemental damage. It's 
check that size on the explosions. Explosion size, 138. Spicy sauce is also your best friend, so really, really good. Speed, crit, blah, 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 everything, sure. Next. HP, even though it's really expensive. Explosive damage. Horde wave. Feeling pretty good about the horde wave. But yeah, you go into the, the training chamber of fishermen. And the whole time, like, he's just smiling. He's having a good time. <clears throat> you can also do it the other way with fishermen, is that you just try to do it with buying no baits. And so he basically you functionally made the store 25% worse. And uh, you've made all of your drops. Uh, you, you're picking up half the materials as well. So you've made your life hell for no reason. If you, I haven't been able to get through that. My best wave was 17. I'd like to get in there. Yeah, there we go. I just can't have all of the planks swinging at the same time. So we're like ducking in. We're bobbing. We're weaving. We're doing some zigzag. Like I like to zigzag. But with this, you just keep scaling explosion size. It's like a quarter of the arena. Not a quarter, like an eighth of the arena? Sixteenth of the arena? I'm keeping scaling that number down. Reroll for elemental damage. Just, just keep, keep going. Elemental damage. Let's go. Fourth spicy sauce. So now I should have bought the garden. And now I should also pick up luck so that I can be picking up all the pickles. Crit, no. More armor, hell yeah. More plank, more armor. Hmm, B. Probably not. More armor for hit points, because I'm only at six armor. Where are we going? Also, since we're able to kill the uh, tentacles, that tells me my damage is really good. You come into wave 13 and you can't kill the tentacles and you just have to run away from anything. It just makes you sad. Oh. Pick this up and explode. Because every consumable off the ground makes me explode. Every time. The spicy sauce is an insane. Oh. Grab the tree. Grab the consumable. Whoops, grab that consumable too early. Yeah, if you have spicy sauce, you definitely want to be having your main recovery tactic be uh, eat off the ground. Plus 3% damage. We're down to 94. Uh, take it. Attack speed, crit, and range. Uh, sure. I need more attack speed. Beard baby? Probably not. Also minus 50 range. Get out of here. Uh, bean teacher. Campfire. Probably over index on XP, but if you have two horde waves, you definitely want to have some XP. Like some extra XP in there. Oh, explode when you pick up materials. When I get damaged, I pick up the, the alien pickle next to me. So due to the massive damage, like the massive explosion size, which I'm not going to turn on the flashes. The default for explosions where it flashes white, oh, flashbang. He says this, he's like sitting in the dark in his room, attempting to entertain. Yeah, artificer, you gotta bite the bite the bullet and be like, can't have any bullets. And uh, we gotta have some explosions up in this bitch. So it's pretty rough on like wave eight and wave ten for Artificer. Artificer like is gonna take off after that, but you're trying to juggle so many other things. This is the level twenty level up. Uh, armor, attack speed, enemy speed down. Sure, I don't think I have an ugly tooth. I'm going to take more pickup range, so if we do get damaged. Rip and Tear probably doesn't do anything. It probably just doesn't do anything. Debating taking mastery over just finding 
one thing that does something. Yes, I need attack speed though. Really? Hmm. There's our HP regen. Goodbye, luck. Sad to mod? No. No, 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 no. Just don't get hit. Just slap them with the giant explosions. Because the uh, planks do attack fairly quickly, right? And it allows you to track down these guys as you can run them down pretty easily. The explosion from spicy sauce is huge as well. Maybe giving up the luck so that they don't drop as many. I also haven't seen gentle aliens today. I've seen one gentle alien and two rats, like across all of the games today. It seems really low. Maybe like I forgot about something, but. But we, like, nobody for did. But we didn't forget about Dre, so, like, I think we're gonna be good. Like, I think we'll be okay. Three percent more damage. Uh, regen, sure. Life steal to get back to zero. No. Oddly enough, probably not. Uh, take the bait. Probably take the bait. Make it harder on myself. Love it. Per micro's request, hard mode, please. I am gonna take handcuffs, which scales just everything and is incredible. Um. Yeah. Just go next. The explosion size is huge. That bait doesn't even do anything. No, it doesn't do anything for my build either. It just costs me money, but that's okay. We're on hard mode. This is danger six. Where we got like I wonder if there's a mod to hook up like viewership or something to hook up Twitch chat. Let Twitch chat make the picks at the store. Take for would it take forever? No, nah, I don't think it would take forever. There's probably a mod out there, right? That Twitch chat plays Brotato. I'll pilot, I'll play. Oh, the spicy sauce explosions are so big. Boom. It's like a quarter of the arena. The uh, explosions from playing cards are big. Wandering bot, no thanks. I would like to turn you into money, thank you. To note, I still buy armor on this character. This armor says minus 50% armor. That just says armor is 50% more expensive. You are still going to buy armor. Explosion size, sure. We are handcuffed, so no more hit point. That's fine. Java shop and then we get a plank, that's fine too. Gotta get that coffee. It's probably, to be honest, it's probably the best item in the game. Like, not joking. As much as I like an ugly tooth, and everyone knows I love me an ugly tooth. Just like, like stats wise and costed. Whoops, walked into the boss, don't do that. Don't cost the different thing. There we go, yeah. My biggest danger is myself. That one is also probably one of the easier ones. Probably want a little bit more range on these planks because the back plank could barely hit the boss, but that's something that can be shored up and dealt with before the wave 20 bosses. We'll have another wave or two. Depending on what's sitting here, like Retromations hoodie or... Hey, hey, there it is. Speak of Retromations hoodie. I have no dodge, though. But I'm taking it and we're going to get some dodge because it's attack speed. It's so good. Show me dodge. Show me dodge. No dodge. There's no dodge in here. 3% will take it. Uh, I don't need this plank. Get it out of here. Game. Stop mocking me. You gave me a Retromations hoodie. Like, 
will not be mocked like this. Well, made it even harder mode because Retromation's hoodie gave me less range and has negative attack speed right now. Well, <sighs> definitely find some dodge. Definitely copium. Just, just coping over here. I don't know that that's a problem, but it does. It doesn't improve my situation into wave 18. Which is fine, just I need to know that I made my life worse because of that. Like grabbing uh, the Vigilante Ring. Go, oh, Vigilante Ring's good, not on this character. So sick, the massive explosions from Spicy Sauce. They're so big. It's like the size of the screen. What a great item. Hey, there's there's Dodge. It's called 10-15% attack speed. I also wanted range, but I guess I'll just settle for all of this uh, extra explosion size. And no dodge. Just have 1% less attack speed and no money from recycling Retromation's hoodie. Just sadness. But I think we can show off skill here. Is this a skill? This is a skill, right? Like we did on Gladiator. We're not that skilled, though. Because also we don't have a good recovery strategy for the fat boys like coming in. But this is how Plank can win. Plank is a great item. So is Spicy Sauce. As the whole screen explodes when I pick up the consumable. Also why I take that little bit extra pickup range, especially when you have Spicy Sauce. So you don't die to running into a whole horde. It'll actually just murder the whole horde. Alright. Retromation's hoodie online. <laughs> take the elemental damage, of course. Yeah, exactly. We're just short on plastic explosive, but that's okay. Won't die. Upgrade my plank. Take the lumberjack shirt to go with my hoodie. We got that swag, okay? We're coming in with our med kit. We got the lumberjack shirt, the Retromations hoodie, which is a streamer. Our vigilante ring, 27. Look at this thing. This thing's popping. So shiny. That shit is shiny as fuck. And then our four spicy sauces that leads to endless uh, explosions. What those explosions are? Mm, it's okay, we don't have to talk about that. Not the highest amount of damage, but not, not bad. The other thing is if I start taking damage and I start dying as well, run away because we're stacking the, the uh, med kit right now. Just stacking that shit to the moon. Which means we will keep getting uh, uh, like HP regen. Alright, cool. Oh, easy, easy. Easy. Don't throw away the game. He's throwing away the game. Is this why you want to kill them? Alright. So it still is pretty easy to throw away the game. The thing I probably should have done was bought more armor and not gone extra, extra, extra hard mode. But there you fucking go, Micro. You're the man. Thanks for suggesting a flank run. And... Don't just take the nuclear launcher if you find it, because you may never find another nuclear launcher. We did not. Uh, also set myself behind with the vigilante ring. Hell yeah, brother. That's a good movement right there, too, because uh, the, the regen was not coming through because our armor is low, because we have double this. But double digit armors is what you want for the boss. Like, uh, the eight armor is not going to cut it. I did pass on one of these on accident, too. So there were a lot of mistakes being made here. But the thing that really probably saved it is that the bosses don't move very much with Ugly Tooth. They just don't move very much. So 
let me run a three minute ad break otherwise we're gonna be fucked for front seat friday greg um I'll, i will hop on a discord call with you when i get back i'll message you on discord leave the music running but yeah what a good run you just stack ele elemental damage to 43 and you have massive explosion size of 272 and explosion damage from five dynamites yeah thanks for suggesting that run that was dope loved it very much oh by the way silver bullet this is multiplicative damage it calculates all your damage and then adds 25 percent on top of that so very good if you need to be killing elites and bosses probably why i was able to kill the bosses Anyways, I could go on and on and on, like I usually love to do, but let's take a quick ad break. Press that follow button. If you haven't pressed the follow button, it won't be right back. Thanks for being here.